another Volts tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make a Mi assembler. This is going to include how to set up a Mi terminal, how to set up a Mi molecular assembler chamber, and how to use it. Alright, let's get started. Alright, all the items you're going to need are right here. You're going to need one Mi pattern provider, some sort of Mi storage, a me encoded pattern or you can just use a me blank pattern and then encode it yourself then you're going to need a me pattern encoder some sort of power source some way to transfer the power to the me controller then you're going to need a me controller a me access terminal a me drive storage unit some containment walls and some heat vents now this thing is going to be three by three you're going to want to start by making a hollow one dimensional ring at a heat vent in the middle then you're going to want to put your pattern provider right on top and surround that by heat vents now you're just going to fill in the rest of this to make a 3x3x3 three by three by three square and once that's done it will automatically turn into a Mi Mac and then you're just going to want to put your access terminal right here. You can also connect to all this using a me wiring. I just didn't want to set that up. And you're going to want to set up your stuff like this or however it, however you like to set it up. I prefer to set it up this way. And you're going to want to hook up your power. Oops. And beautiful. Then you're going to want to put in whatever items you want crafted, which I have antimatter right here. You're just going to want to make the shape of what you want to make. I want to make antimatter 1 gram in code. Alright, then I just want to shove that in there. Put this in here. And as you'll see, you'll have this new craft button. You're going to want to click that, and it'll tell you how many you want to craft. Let's just say I want to craft 10. Begin. 1, 2, three, four. It's quite slow but you can make multiple of these and ten and then it'll stop making them and all, you, all you're gonna want to do is to make more is go to craftable items click on this and start again and if you go back here it'll auto craft all those as many as it can as you can see, I don't have enough supplies to make a 17th gram of antimatter. But then, there you go. That's it. And for the explosive, I'm going to go whip up something nice real quick. And for our explosive today, we have a hypersonic. Just going to want to place that down. Whenever you light off one of these, do not wear a helmet. It will de completely destroy your helmet. But other than that, it should be pretty safe. Oh, oh, except for the fact that I'm getting smacked by blocks. Alright, this will just, yeah, get blocks and throw them everywhere. If you want to mine, I guess that works. If you want to wreck somebody's base, it'll definitely work. If you want to make a mess, great for that. But if you want to kill somebody, you're not going to want to use one of these. As you can see, I can easily handle one. Put my helmet back on. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe. We are going to do the usual, but not right now. We're about eight minutes. Alright, as you can see, it is just 